Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. I really appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. So this is a timeless collective reading. I hope that it guides you within so that you do not go without. Okay. Keep in mind, he could be a she, she could be a he. The roles could be reversed. Only take the messages that resonate with you. At the bottom of the deck, I landed on the Eight of Cups. And here is the Magician. So at this point, it's like you are releasing things that don't serve you. Or you feel like you're ready to walk away from something. Could be a person, a job. Here's the Six of Wands, but it's in the reverse. And the four of cups in the reverse. I feel like um, you may be recognizing at this time that a person um, in your environment could be someone who... I feel like this, this... I just had this message. Some of you, you are carrying this energy of the magician, Okay. Meaning at this time, like you're very inspired. You're really concentrating on something. You could be like a master manifester. Someone could be saying that like you're self-centered or you're conceited. I just am getting a lot of energy. This is a second reading of a lot of projection. Okay. Everyone can see that there is a major shift that is happening in the collective right now. There's a lot of really, really amazing things that are coming in. And we, you know, last week we have the eclipse. We are in Mercury retrograde. It feels like there is this push and pull type of energy where you have individuals right now who really, really want to see you go backwards. Okay. Somebody doesn't want you to recognize the power that you hold as, as this magician. Okay. I feel that some of you definitely have individuals and these could be people who you've already walked away from who are saying that, you know, you're conceited, you're self-centered. Um, this, you know, you, you could have had a conversation with a, a particular group of people, friends, family, and, and said, you know, right now you're really focused on a project or whatever. You know, this this could be something as, as simple as, I, I don't know why this is specific. Someone could have recently decided to become like vegetarian or vegan or something. It's something about your lifestyle that you're changing. And you have people around you who are noticing these shifts and changes. They really want to make you out to be very conceited. With the Six of Wands being in the reverse, like somebody wants to make it seem as though you're power hungry, you're conceited. It's all because you don't want to do something like this particular group of people. And the four of cups is here in the reverse. So the four of cups in the reverse is saying that you, you're not like bummed out. You're not, you're not willing to miss opportunities by doing something the same way or hanging around the same people. And then it's followed by the six of swords. So if the six of swords is, this is you moving on a peaceful, calm waters and you're being proactive about certain changes. You know, this could be, for some reason, nutrition is coming. This could be you telling your family, like, you know, I'm just not going to eat like that anymore. You know, or um, friends, family, or this is, could be you deciding, you know, I don't, I don't want to drink anymore. You're doing something, you know, that is elevating your life. And 
you have people that are really trying hard to convince you that you're going too far or, you know, of course, the next thing is when people, when they don't like the fact that you truly live a certain type of life, the next thing they do, of course, is they're going to start to lie about it or and lie about you. These are people that's going to, you know, they can't attack you now, but they want to try to use your past against you in hopes that it will stop or block you or delay you from, you know, going towards your future. This is the Ten of Swords in the reverse. I just feel like you're finally over something. You're like, you just don't care about it. Yeah, the Queen of Cups in the reverse. You don't care. You're releasing this pain. Something here, it could have been some type of toxic, codependent-like relationship here or, or something where it just wasn't equal. Given. You're releasing this because you're just like, no, it's not serving you at all. The Ace of Wands is here. For some of you, this is you walking away from a relationship. Here's a Four of Wands in the reverse. Ace of Wands and the Four of Wands. And the, this could be you deciding that, you know, you don't want to be in a marriage or a relationship or whatever the case may be. You don't, it's something you just don't want anymore. And you're choosing now to go after something that you do want. You're letting go of people who just don't support you. Okay. You have this Ace of Wands here, but I see the Four of Wands in the reverse. And it's followed by the King of Wands, the Three of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. So for some of you, it's like you're walking away from a situation. You're walking away with being engaged with certain people, family, friends, or whatever. And you, you're now going towards something that serves you. And you have people who are very, very angry. They're very upset about this. But it's like for you to get this storybook fairy tale ending that you're looking for, you're gonna you have to get away from these people. It's just something in your life, it's no longer aligned, and you're very certain of that. But here I have the hangman in the reverse and the hierophant in the reverse. These cards are just telling a story. I haven't used these cards in a long time, but yeah, it's like the hangman in the reverse with the hierophant in the reverse here. Somebody wants you to feel uncertain about making these life choices that bring you freedom because it restricts them from your life. This is a heavy, heavy energy right now. People are not happy about the fact that you are denying them access because you're choosing this non-conformist lifestyle that's bringing you personal freedom. You have some people that see that because you went a different way in life, um, yeah, the queen of pentacles is here. However you are living or manifesting, however you're doing things for yourself, your business, your family, it's working. But you have people here, the two of cups in the reverse. <laughs> you have partnerships with people who now are trying to get you to come in and nurture these codependent toxic connections. Because they see you moving in a different direction. They see you going towards something better. And it doesn't include them. So you have people now, they want to get on your good side. They want to, they want you to rescue them or they want to come in and pretend that they are here to, you know, save or rescue you in some kind of way. This is all just a big facade. The two of wands is here. Yeah, it's like you're making a decision. Three of Wands, I'm sorry, Two of Wands and then the Queen of Wands here. You're making a decision right now to confidently go out and meet new people and celebrate because you know, oh my gosh, you are the star and you're the empress. You know that. Or you're discovering it. So you already know that for some of you, especially with the star being here and the Three of Cups, and we saw the hangman and the hierophant in the reverse. You could be going towards a community of more like-minded people who are deaf, like your soul family, your soul tribe, people who they share the same faith, the same, you know, or a very similar purpose. And the purpose could just be you want to go around people who just want to heal. They want to grow. They want to evolve. They don't want to remain stuck. And you have a group of people that's like, oh, well, look at you trying to, 
You know, this is that look at you being a show off kind of energy. And it's like, what? Because you want to be better? Somebody out here wants to punish you or tease you or taunt you because you want to be better. Because better for you is you going in a direction where they can't go. This is this is envy. And it could absolutely be your own family or your friends or both. You know, take it how it resonates. But there's new opportunities here in front of you. And we've been seeing that. I've been seeing it in the readings. A lot of extremely powerful, powerful like changes are coming. These major shifts, money, abundance, relationships, you know, really solid friendships. That's what's coming. And it's because now you're choosing to really just seize these opportunities that are being presented to you so that you can become more stable. You can get out of survival mode. You can, it, you're walking away from all of this conflict and drama with other people. And they, they're upset about it. These people want you to keep on nurturing situations that you know are unhealthy. <laughs> Look at the fool. And you, I feel like right now it's a brand new beginning here. The star, the empress, and the fool. It's a brand new beginning here. Look at that. The star, the empress, the fool, and the three of cups. For some of you, you're the star in a group of friends or family. It, it, it's becoming clear that either you are the star in this group. This could be a group of, of friends or family, whatever. You walked away from them to pursue something that is more aligned with you or for you. And these individuals are like, oh, you know, well, who, who does he or who does she think she is? You're the star. <laughs> That's who you are. And they don't have to like it. You don't need these people's acceptance or approval. I just feel like, you know, it's a lot of people in the collective right now. You're coming out of this mode of, of needing this this acceptance, this approval, this validation. You're doing what you want to do because it's what you want to do. It's what God has told you you need to be doing. And because you now have the confidence to do this, people are upset because it's leading you to so, so much abundance. Like this carefree attitude that you have is making space for so many amazing things. Because your energy now is not focused at all on these low vibrational people or situations, that's the reason why the magician card out came out first. You're able to concentrate. The more you stop trying to please these people that you once had these unhealthy connections, it's becoming easier and easier for you to manifest and to concentrate, to know exactly what you want. Some of you, you've, you've had, you know, no support with friends and family. These, you know, or if you're dating, these are kind of, they don't plan anything. When they do plan, they cancel the plans. I'm seeing out here too, for some of you, you have friends and family. They don't support your choices in relationships. I don't know why that's been coming out so much. It's because a lot of people now, you're going towards the Ten of Cups. You're going towards the ideal relationship for you. The hangman and the hierophant is in the right. You are breaking out of generational patterns or societal norms. You're going towards the people, the places, the jobs, the business, or whatever that suits you. And you have people who have been trying to live vicariously through you and and groom you to in some way or keep you bound they don't understand why you do it's because you're a natural born leader so you're releasing this pain this stagnant energy you're focusing on you i would say focus on you until the focus is on you you don't have to focus on these people or what they don't like look at this death card in the reverse <laughs> This is crazy. Death card in the reverse and the moon card in the reverse. 
as well as the Eight of Wands, and then the Devil. Again, same message I got earlier. These people want you to be deceived by your own mind. You have a lot of people out here who have limited beliefs, limited thinking. Their intuition is blocked. They're uncertain about their path, their life. You know, and you're purging these people out of your life so that you, so things can finally take off for you and you can move forward. The devil is out here. These are codependent, toxic connections that have been restricting you. And these people are obsessed with you. And so here you're focusing on the Ace of Cups. But the Ace of Cups is in the reverse. These people, these are energy vampires and narcissists. There is no love here. The Ace of Cups in the reverse, sometimes that could be you needing to hold back your energy, your emotions. Sometimes the Ace of Cups is saying you need to stop sharing so much of your energy with other people and pour into yourself. Yeah, with the Queen of Swords here. And you see how she has her, her back turned and she's kind of like looking over. You don't have time to look over your shoulder now. This is a time in your life where you should have an opportunity to be happy. And with the Queen of Swords, this is you communicating clearly to people in a very fair and just way that you are focusing on yourself. With the Chariot, you are focusing on yourself and you're moving forward with or without them. Here is the lovers in the reverse. You have the King of Cups here and then the Emperor and the Three of Wands. <laughs> so the lovers is in the reverse. This is some of you when it comes to a relationship, you're done. You just, you're done with it. You realize now that your values do not align with someone. It's trust issues. Y'all are disconnected. And you are manifesting the person that you want to be with, which will be this King of Cups Emperor energy. Someone who is emotionally aware, intelligent. They're trustworthy. They have stability, security. You know, they are protective of, of their energy. They can protect your energy. Just you're just getting into alignment, like it's just the end of a chapter here. The world card is over, something here is just over. And you know, we are in Mercury Retro. I feel like somebody is really trying to come at some of you with that same, that same Mercury retrograde mess. Let's go, let's take a blast of the past. And you're like, no, not this time, I'm not doing it again. You're off this merry-go-round. You don't want to do this. And I mean, I don't blame. Whatever this is, you don't want to do it anymore. You're looking for fulfillment. The Empress and the Emperor are out here now with the Star and the Fool. Some of you, whether this is a past person, you could be dealing with someone now. And if it's not working, you're just like, you know, whatever. The situation is, is in balance. It's a disconnect. There's trust issues. Some of you, you don't trust the person. If this is a relationship, you don't trust them to lead. You don't trust them. So you're moving forward. The lovers usually speaks of a choice here. You have the king of cups and the emperor. I mean, up here you have the king of, of wands next to the three of swords. Whoever or whatever this, I mean, you're definitely manifesting a great relationship, but there's people who want to still hold on to you energetically and that you even may be holding on to. You have to release them because there's too much emotional pain with these people. Friends, family, parents, siblings. It's just too much. You just, wherever you are, you need to move away from it. 
For some of you, it's an actual physical move. You need to move from wherever you are. These people don't need to be able to come to your, your house. You don't need to do any more lunch or, or brunch dates with these people. They don't like you. The sooner you, the sooner you accept that, the better. They don't like you. And that's okay. Some of you are going to have to get more comfortable with being unique, being quirky, so that you can be more carefree. You will attract the people who are for you, but you're, you're needing to make space for them. It's too many people around you who don't need to be there. They're taking up space for the people who should be around you. Look. Six of Cups. And it's in the reverse. Six of Cups upright can speak of past events. It can speak of you feeling nostalgic. And I when I see the Six of Cups in the reverse though, this is you remembering the past, but I don't feel like you're remembering necessarily the great things, but that's what someone wants you to do because the five of wands is here in the reverse. Somebody wants you to look over the past and they want you to see it as something that was that was good so that you will be willing to work on this. Somebody is, yeah, they want you to see the past the way that they see it. They don't see anything wrong with what they did. Or even if they do, they feel like, well, you know, just just give me a pass. Let, let, me, let me come in and, and cause more problems. The tower in the reverse. <laughs> Somebody that does not want to let go. And this person, they lack direction. Knight of Pentacles. But it's in the reverse. They don't have anything to offer. This person, they're irresponsible. They lack direction. They don't finish things. But they still want you to work with them. They want you to work with them. Three of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. And you see this? This is somebody who wants you to partner with them and, and work with them. However, this person, I feel like they will probably stab you in the back. There's going to be conflict in this situation. This person may even compete with you. Mm -mm. Yeah, some of you need to be careful. I feel like that's kind of the gist of this. Like, you have people now who see you moving forward. They know they're no longer really aligned with you. They're trying to assassinate your character in a way to make you feel bad. They want to make you feel bad about things from the past. They want to guilt trip you. They want you to be uncertain about the future. But secretly, they also want to come in and work with you. So that they can remain attached to you. <laughs> but they but they also want to bring you a lot of conflict, drama, and, and compete with you as well. It, it's crazy. Yeah. King of Pentacles in the reverse. With the Wheel of Fortune. Not good. The King of Pentacles in the reverse. This is someone who is very jealous, envious. They're not loyal. They're probably not either either they're extremely materialistic or they're not good with money. And you have the will of fortune here. So you probably have good fortune and expansion coming. This person who is materialistic, either either they have a lot of money. And they want your money too, or this person doesn't have money and they want your money. Somebody wants your money. They, they want your energy. They want your money. They don't want you to share with anyone other than them. And this person is not loyal at all. No, this is not wish fulfillment. It's the nine of cups in the reverse. This is someone who is extremely selfish. Very selfish. They overindulge in things. They're selfish. Materialistic. And it feels like this person is trying to shift their karma by trying very hard to attach themselves to you. And you could be in some type of community. This is someone looking for a way to get access to your, your community. Whatever you're building, they want access to it. 
they're seeing you as, oh, well, you know, it'll be a partnership or or some type of growth or development offer for them because something in their life is falling. You know, it, it's, it's failing at this time. Yeah, I just said it. Messenger of Cups. This person is manipulative. I think I guess this is like the I think this is the Page of Cups. This person they have creative blocks. They're manipulative and they're immature and childish. Yeah. They're ten of wands. They're carrying a very heavy load. This person does not have anything to offer. So you need to be careful here. Not to ignore the red flags of whoever this person is. Call judgment on this situation. Because if you don't, you're going to end up in the Nine of Swords. You're going to end up stressed, full of worry, anxiety. You're going to take on this person's energy. And that's probably what they want you to do. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles here in the reverse. I'm telling you, somebody wants you to lose money for sure. The five of cups is here. <laughs> but the nine of pentacles in the reverse, this is like, don't, don't, don't overwork yourself when you know you're not getting what you want out of a situation. It's like somebody wants you to break your back to be their backbone. The nine of wands is here in the reverse. And then the king of swords in the reverse. Yeah. <laughs> this is someone here who is pro probably very manipulative and defensive. Very cold, calculated, controlling. They want you to bend over backwards and break your back for them. While they and, and I'm telling you, as soon as you do it, they, they're going to leave you out in the cold. This person is very calculated, whoever it is. This could be your boss. They'll let you work all of the overtime, all of the holidays. They still, they, they'll never give you a reward or recognition or a bonus. It could be your company. They want you to build up their company while they pay you nothing. No rewards, no recognition. You don't get the salary that you want. This is, could be a relationship with a friend, family member. Somebody wants you to do all of the work while they do the absolute bare minimum. But I promise you, they want to be the one that shine for everything that you do. This is someone who knows that you are a very powerful manifester. You have tools, you have resources, gifts, talents, abilities. You're multi-talented, multifaceted. This person knows exactly what you possess. They've seen how you shine in whatever crowd or room you go into. It's weird though, because it's like this person, you know, just looking at the moon card and, and how the cards are coming. It's like, this is someone, they don't want you... They want you to do what they they're okay with you doing well as long as you are offering them what they want. You know, as soon as you're not giving them what they want, then you become their enemy. So you need to be very careful. If this is, you know, friend, family member, or even a lover, this is a person who will quickly turn into your enemy, stab you in the back, and compete with you. Some of you are in relationships. Your partner is literally competing with you. Yeah, the moon, I don't, that moon and death card in the verse. Somebody here too, whoever this person, I feel like this person, they are avoiding like a spiritual awakening. This person is, they lack a lot of Awareness and integrity. They don't want to work for things. The moon with the devil in the reverse. And then followed by the eight of wands. I said the devil in the reverse. I'm sorry. The death card in the reverse. 
the eight of wands and then the devil. This person, when they get stressed out or they have anxiety about anything, they don't know how to... They don't, this person doesn't know how to heal. They don't really know how to transform. I feel like what this person does is they just quickly dive into doing stuff that is very toxic to get what they want. And see, they're coming at you with this energy, but you're in the queen of swords. With the chariot, the chariot speaks of, you know, a lot of willpower and determination. You're determined to move forward. This is someone who... Maybe they guilt trip you a lot or they, they did before. They think they're going to rush in and, and play with you. And they're, they're not used to this energy that you're in now. It's like they're in for a very rude awakening because you're so mentally strong and determined to move forward. You know that this is the lovers in the reverse. You know that this is not the relationship that you want. It's in the reverse. You know it. So, yeah, the king of and the king of cups is someone who is very, very good with their emotions. It may be hard for you to read this person energetically. But like I said, when when this past person, when when you think of the past, they want you to think happy thoughts. No matter how much they stabbed you on the back, they want you to see them in a positive light so that it's easier for them to come in. And some of you, it's not even physically. They even, they energetically want to be connected. You have such a, a wall up against this person. They can't connect with you physically or energetically. They're noticing that. But if they can get you to let your guard down a little bit, you know, they probably could send a little telepathic, you know, communication, a song or some energy towards you to kind of get you to lighten up. And then eventually you'll be open to connecting with them physically. I feel like somebody here, a divine feminine, especially you've got everything locked down like for not. You're not letting this person anywhere near you. And they're doing all this extra stuff behind the scenes to try to get your information, your information or your attention. But there's a very clear warning here. And I feel like this is even your spiritual team making it clear like this person, whoever you are, this divine feminine, this person has gone through an awakening. If somebody is trying to, you know, be cunning or conniving or spiritually attack you, somebody needs to be aware you're not the same person that they attacked the last time. So trying to be cold, calculated, and ruthless now is absolutely going to land them out in the cold. And they could lose a lot of money too. That's the five of pentacles. It's like instant karma here. The eight of swords. Yeah. Somebody wants you in some kind of mental entrapment, but if they come for you, they're going to be in some type of crisis. They're going to be stuck in whatever, you know, mental prison that they wanted you in. Eight of Cups. Eight of Swords, Eight of Cups. You're walking away from this. You already know that somebody is just full of drama. You're tired of this doom and gloom, whatever, the, whoever this person is to, no matter who they are, you're tired of their same old sad story, this doom and gloom that they keep bringing. This person cannot seem to get their life, to, whoever this is, they're really struggling with getting their life together. It's, they're constantly juggling. It's back and forth. Like, they may have problem, money problems or something like that, and you're just like, you know what, just... They're they're really like cramping your style. They're that you're you're seeing them now as a burden. That's what this is. It's like somebody wants you to break your back to be their backbone. They're a burden though. Ace of, of Pentacles. Two of 
So you have the Ace of Pentacles here, the Temperance in the Revert. Oh no, it's the Temperance Upright. Okay. Something is balancing out though. Wow. And the High Priestess and the Six of Pentacles. And then now for some of you, if, if you're in some type of relationship and it's healthy, because the lovers is out here in the reverse, for some of you, you have a person that has been in the background, whether they are connected to you or your person, who has been trying to cause a lot of a disconnection or for the energy to be off with you and your person. Somebody could be trying to send you these thoughts to make you believe that like your person is cheating or, you know, the relationship won't, won't make it or whatever. But that's actually not true because the Ace of Pentacles is here with the Temperance card, the Six of Pentacles and the High Priestess. You're needing to follow your intuition here about being able to accept equal give and take and a healthy connection that brings you harmony because there's a new beginning here. Or this is saying, you know, if you're not with someone, once you get this person out of your energy, you're quickly going to get a new beginning. And it will bring you security and abundance. You know, this could be you starting a new job that you're going to be very happy with. For some of you, you have a person in your life, they're, they're creating a karmic blockage in your money. Because you have this person around you that's in this doom and gloom Energy they're constantly juggling and unable to manifest. They're blocking your ability to manifest this Ace of Pentacles. As soon as you walk away from this person, there's a blockage that will be removed. Yeah. Very strong message. There's an opportunity here for you. The only thing that's stopping you from getting it is this person that's in your energy. And again, for some of you, you could be with someone and there is instability or an imbalance in your connection because someone is in the background sending chaos to your connection. Take it however it resonates. Yeah, I just said that. Look at this, seven of cups. I just said somebody is trying to create confusion. And illusions here. The high priestess is here. Seven of Cups is about dreams and illusions, confusion, a lot of options. But I feel like for some of you too, be careful because you can have a person in your energy. They have like a shiny object syndrome. This person, they're a dreamer. They, they're living in, in some type of false reality, this fantasy. They can't focus. Like this person, they somebody just cannot manifest without you. Yeah, they can't manifest without you. You have the Page of Pentacles out here and the Ten of Pentacles. And this Page of Pentacles is in the reverse. Somebody is not learning from, in, from their mistakes. They're constantly receiving bad news because they're not learning from their, from their mistakes. And here you are, you have a new offer and opportunity that's about to give you the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. There's something that's coming in. It's going to allow you to buy a home, car, have like real long-term stability and security. All you need to do is get this person out of your energy or out of the way. And if this isn't you, if you are in a partnership and maybe your person is constantly experiencing instability it's because they have a friend or a family member maybe even an ex or someone that they don't see as a hidden enemy or, or a distraction you will notice for somebody it's very specific every single time you or your person are dealing with someone or your family or a certain group there's issues if this person would or or you would finally keep somebody out of your life and out of your business your blessings will come in. If this isn't you going through this, like if it's your person, you're going to have to allow them to see this for themselves by going into hermit mode. Because there is somebody out here for sure that's in a very immature energy where they are just not seeing something for what it is. The page of swords here. Like somebody is curious. They, they want information, but they still haven't quite learned something yeah four of pentacles 
this person still hasn't learned something about how to accumulate money or wealth or how to serve, like hold on to it. Like four of pentacles can be someone, you know, doesn't want to let go, but it can be someone that's frugal. But the four of pentacles also is about building. This is someone who still doesn't know how to. They don't know how to build. Especially with this eight of swords. Eight of cups, seven of cups. This person just keeps walking aimlessly like towards stuff that doesn't make sense. Somebody is right now, especially with the page of swords, like this person, they're just, I guess they're just exploring right now and they don't know what they want. Yeah, some of you, you're dealing with somebody, they don't know what they want. And and spiritually right now, four swords, you need to just go within. Some of you, it's a person, you need to take a break from this person. For some, that could be temporary or or permanent, but you need to take a break from this person, whoever this is. It could be like a friend, family member, or lover. Somebody around you, the sun in the reverse. They just want to have fun. Wow, there you have it. They just want to have fun. They're blocked, like they their ego is is a problem. They're overly optimistic, like they have shiny object syndrome, and this is an unrequited love situation. The Knight of Cups is here in the reverse. This person is manipulative. But they're obsessed with you at the same time. They're obsessed with what this, the idea of this situation. But they can't really own, they don't match you when it comes to the reality of, of being with somebody who is the Empress, the Magician, and the Star. They, they, this person can't match you. So with the Knight of Cups in the reverse, you may be deciding that, you know, you don't want to offer this person anything or you don't want to accept an offer because it's the seven of pentacles in the reverse. There is no return on this investment. Yeah. It's some dead weight out here that, that needs to go. It's just, it is what it is. It's dead weight. And the magician card came out first, which lets me know some of you, you're you're in an energy right now of being very powerful. To be in the energy of the magician, you, you cannot have people around you who don't understand the importance of protecting their energy. For those of you who are in relationships, partnerships, if your partner does not understand that you are a, you know, a high priestess, an empress, an emperor, that you have to protect your energy in a certain way and they're just letting anything and anybody come around them, that will throw your energy off as well. You can't allow this person around you. They're still very vain. Um, they're a follower. This person has not yet. Somebody's just not on your level. Uh -uh. They're just not, not spiritually. You have out here abundance. In paradise, wow. I'm gonna look at the bottom of the deck. Golden Mary says, self-absorbed and narcissist. It's a one-sided relationship with somebody that wants to love bomb you. They're telling you that they like you, but it's a karmic relationship. Yeah. But again, it's it's interesting because it feels like there's more than one person out here. It's like you have someone that genuinely likes you. But there's another person I feel who's in your energy and they want to just use you. So some of you right now, you need to sort of focus on yourself with healthy choices, the sword and the rose until you get the clarity that you need about this situation. But there is something out here. See the Grim Reaper. There's a relationship out here. It's over. There's no second chances. You need to just grow and transform your life and focus on your stability or security. And for some of you, you may be telling a person, we don't, this is not the right relationship. You may be telling someone that they really need to go and focus on creating stability and security for themselves. Because you have lightning and love with palm tree. There's unconditional love here. There's a sudden change coming in. I just feel it's a third party situation as in like you have someone that's hiding in your energy 
or your person has someone that's hiding in their energy and maybe they're not... Maybe they're not as intuitive or aware. It doesn't really feel like a person like it's a third party as in a lover. It's like someone has the bad influence of like a friend or a family member. Someone that is supporting like their limited thinking or whatever and they don't recognize that their family or friends or community is what's holding them back. Someone's community is not supporting their growth. This is like someone that goes into a room and they think, you know, that everything is good because everyone in the room agrees with them. And it's like, no. Go somewhere where people were actually challenged. This person's or you is, is not challenged where they are. And they're comfortable. <laughs> so you have a person out here that's kind of complacent. Could be you. Could be someone you're attached to. This could be your workplace. You need to see. It's time for you to go. There's no. There's something here is just not growing. It's so, I'm seeing so many different things. But. Yeah, and then you have here the camera. Someone is reminiscing over memories from the past, maybe looking at your pictures, but it's something here that you need to learn from the past in order for Cupid's arrow to come in and bring you something that you're passionate about. It just seems like for some, if it's a past person, they're not changing. <laughs> you know, this could be the type of person that feels like because they they are secure and stable, because we did see that um, King of Pentacles, because they have material things, they're not worried at all, though, about their spiritual growth. So it's not a match for you. Or this could be someone who maybe they are spiritual. You know, they, they could be a person of integrity, but they're not stable. It's, it's something that's, it's like the Two of Pentacles. They have something, but they don't have something else and that other thing that they don't have is something that you really need it's, it's something that you require there's a deal breaker here it's either like spiritual awareness self self-awareness or finances it's something somebody just has one or the other they don't have both and whoever you are you're you're looking for someone that has that's the full package. That's not this. This person is drawn to you though because you know I'm assuming you embody the energy that you are looking to attract. They're just not there though. Or you have someone they they don't want to be there. <laughs> Whatever. Um I'm going to pull just a few oracles for clarity because I don't know if this is one person that you are dealing with or if some of you, some of you are dealing with more than one person. And the truth is you could have one person currently in your energy and someone from your past in your energy. Some of you need to recognize that neither one of them are good for you. I just feel that a lot of people in the collective right now, everyone's energy is changing right now um in such a drastic way that you just have to be very mindful of who and what you entertain because right now everyone is everything about you is changing you know what you like in in the last season you may hate it now and that may be very difficult for, for some people to understand that, that kind of makes sense for what I was saying before. It, it's sort of like before everything was just fine, but now because of this shift that a lot of people are going through, you're like, no, it's not fine. Like I, Something that you liked before, now you hate it. This could have someone really thrown off like, I thought, you know, everything was good. It's like, no, it's not. <laughs> I don't like that anymore. I'm not doing that anymore, you know? 
some of you, this is the person that, you know, always comes back from the past. You may look at the person and be like, you know, I really don't think that I ever want to see you again. You know, something here is just over. It has finally reached its expiration date. Go slow. Take time to get to know each other. Trust. It is safe to trust in this situation. And clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. Yeah, see, some of you, it is. So this that's why I wanted to pull these last few cards. You have somebody in your energy right now that could cause you to act a little bit irrational. Because they're trying to get you to fall back into a, an old mindset or pattern of behavior that you've already grown and evolved past. You could be getting to know someone now and it's safe for you to trust in the situation. But the only way you're going to trust that person is if you clear your energy field. You have someone that's obsessed with you, but the two of you, you're not on the same page. Okay? You and someone are not on the same page. One of you may be seeking marriage and the other one is not. This rejection is actually divine protection. You don't have to force this at all. You need to recognize that it's someone that does not want what you want. Either they don't want it at all or they just don't want it with you. And that rejection is divine protection. The sooner that you, you know, accept this, that you and someone just don't share the same vision about your life, and you clear your energetic field, you're going to be able to Manifest something new. Someone is gripped by obsessive thoughts. You could be the one obsessing. Like maybe you're really looking for something that's serious. It's long term. This person is not. They're they're like, for some of you, you want a monogamous relationship. This person, they're really open to like a poly relationship. You know, you may want kids and, and they do or they don't want kids. But you do, you know, it's something here. It's a, it's a big, <laughs> it's something really big here. And it feels like somebody is pulling at your energy, trying to force you to share the same beliefs as them. But that means that you would have to go without something. Like I said, there's a deal breaker here. Yeah, new love. A new love or recommitment to love is developing. But there's obstacles here. Unhealed wounds are blocking your forward movement. I don't know. Somebody has a very powerful energy. This is like really starting to upset me because this is like the third reading like this. Um, I don't I don't like this forceful energy that's showing up in the collective where it's like these people are trying to force you to believe something to be true that's not true. I that really is starting to rub me the wrong way. <laughs> And you can tell in the readings, you know, this level of chaos and confusion. Where it's like somebody is going to force you like, hey, you need to see this the way I want you to see it. This is the kind of person that really wants to convince you that they're married and you should be their mistress. Or you just shouldn't want marriage, you know. And they'll come to you and tell you, you know, well, you know, if, if we don't get married, it'll be like this, it'll be like that. Or... You know, why, why do you want to have kids or why don't you want somebody wants you to force yourself to to do something that, you know, you don't want to do. It goes against your all of your morals and values. It's nowhere on your vision board to do this. Somebody wants you to make a make a big exception for them. Just so that they can stay connected to you. And like I said, I'm seeing so many. This could be someone that knows they don't want marriage, but they want marriage benefits with you. Heavy emphasis, like your idea of marriage and somebody else is not the same. You could be dating a person. They don't want to be married. Either not now, they don't want to marry you or they don't want to be married at all. But if you know that marriage is what you want, then I would say, 
you need to cut this person out of your life and let the person come in that wants that. But this person is not going to let you go. If you don't, you're dealing with the kind of, if you don't let them go, they'll never let you go. That's, that's what you need to know. This is dead weight. If you don't let them go, they will never let you go. Because whoever this is or whatever the situation, they are benefiting from being connected to you. It's a one-sided situation that you need to cut. And I just heard cold, just cut this cold turkey because it's not fair. This person is slowly but surely manipulating you into giving them what you want and you don't recognize that you are losing something that is important to you. And this is a sneaky energy. It's very slow and and you know, calculated, methodical, very, very smooth. You look up and boom, you've been tricked. And you're like, how? Or you look up and many years of your life are gone and you're, what happened? This person is, is smooth. This is a smooth operator. They're love bombing you and playing a lot of manipulative games. So be careful with this energy. Could be somebody that you're dealing with or someone from your past. You know, take it how it resonates for your situation. But yeah, I don't I didn't like this because the energy is very chaotic and confusing, which lets me know whoever this person, this energy, they're they're very manipulative. Very manipulative. Hmm. So let's leave it there. I hope that this resonated with someone, gave you a bit of clarity. Remember to always go with the end so that you never go without. I love you guys all very much. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye.